I want to go across to Sadaran first because you know you've really uh, got a bit of pasting on social media for suggesting that this would never happen, and that is exactly uh, what we saw play out an insurrection, a riot of a kind that was unimaginable in Washington. What, it, it's still too early, we're still in the moment, but what according to you is the larger message this is sent about America's present state to the rest of the world? Look, uh, Rahul, uh, thank you for having me on, on, on your show. Um, getting a pasting on Twitter is perfectly fair. I hold, hold no grudge against the people who decided to sort of pull up this tweet of mine from early November. Um, the truth is that back in November, I was based by based my prediction on an orderly transfer of power on more than 200 years of American history. Uh, this was clearly unimaginable to me, and it was very unimaginable, I would argue, to most people, not just in the United States, but all over the world. Um, this country has always been marked by a transfer of a peaceful of transfer of power, uh, maybe not counting the civil war years, but in general, going back right to the founding. Uh, these are, you know, they're just fundamental aspects of American democracy. This obviously has been marred by the unfortunate events that we saw uh, yesterday. But I would like to sort of point out to your viewers that there is one very big difference between Somalia and some of these other countries that you mentioned, which is that, yes, the mob did invade and no one should minimize that. But within a few hours, the normal business of the Congress did resume and Joe Biden was certified as president of the United States, and he will be sworn in on January 20th. So this is the sort of chaotic thing one does not associate with America, but it's not as though the chaos in the end has prevailed over order. Ambassador Sarna, it's almost as if you've got one very big part of America living in a bubble, not seeing the real news. They're convinced that Donald Trump hasn't lost the election, that this election is being stolen by the fake news media and by the left-leaning uh, left Democrats. And they've gone and staged a uh, storm Capitol Hill, almost the same as storming the Indian parliament. Will America, in your view, ever be able to recover from the chaos unleashed by Trump and his supporters? Well, honestly, Rahul, I think uh, America is at a crossroads. Um, I think the people who were there are, are a microcosm of a large part of the American population who actually believes in Donald Trump. Uh, amongst the Republicans, he still has a 90% rate, uh, which is quite, quite honestly, quite surprising. George W. Bush had 65% left by the time he was leaving office. Uh, and what has happened today has not happened on its own. It's, it's a culmination of what we have seen for four years. And I agree that maybe in November it was not obvious that this would happen, but possibly in the last week it became increasingly obvious that something like this was on the cards, the way Trump kept on putting the election in doubt and inciting people, gathering people, planning uh, a big thing. He tweeted, uh, come on January 6th, it's going to be wild. Uh, what else do you need? So I think the, the fact is that there is an alternative, alternate reality which has been created by Donald Trump using fake news, using very influential networks right from, from the get-go. He had Steve Bannon in there as his closest advisor and you know what that means. So, and this alternate reality that has been created actually believes that this election has been stolen. So, if the U.S. is to recoup its position, it will depend to a large um, amount on how the Republican Party repairs uh, from this moment. Do they still carry on hitching their star like so many of them did till virtually the last minute, and Ted Cruz did even now, uh, to Donald Trump in the hope of electoral prospects? Or will they realize that a line has been crossed, that and the American population will not back them unless they begin to repair and become the party of the Constitution, become the party of order uh, uh, that they are supposed to be.